Mini is 60 years old, and you might think with the recent reveal of the Mini Electric, their future is all electric. But um, in actual fact, it isn't, because this is the new GP. But before I tell you everything you need to know about the car, make sure you subscribe to the channel, switch on those notifications, and as ever, leave your comments below. The John Cooper Works GP, or more easily referred to as the GP3, is Mini's final 60th birthday present to itself. Like the two previous GPs, production is limited, 3,000 worldwide, with 575 staying in the UK. Now you won't be confusing the GP with any other Mini in the range, because just look at this front end, it is bonkers, isn't it? Let's talk about dimensions. Now it's 40 millimeters wider, the track is 40 millimeters wider, and that's thanks to these uh, big side skirts here, but I'll come onto those in a minute. But the front end is very, very distinctive. Firstly, it's this grille. Now this grille really does jut out compared to the standard Mini. Um, it's got this chili red insert here with the bold GP badge on the side. And then lower down, I mean, look at this schnoz. It is absolutely massive, isn't it? Sucking air into that two litre turbocharged petrol engine. Now there's no chrome details on the front whatsoever. So there's black trim around the lights, black trim inside the lights as well. And the mini badge, no chrome on that whatsoever. I think it looks absolutely fantastic, that badge. Now round to the side, and this is where things get really, really interesting because it's got these floating spats. Look at them just look incredible, don't they? And every single car is numbered. That's not a transfer. That is uh, underneath the clear coat, but it's, it's not plastic. It's not metal. It is from recycled carbon fiber. Now I shudder to think how they're going to stand up to life in a Waitrose car park, but that's really not going to be the worry of any mini GP owner, is it? Now, curiously, for a Halo John Cooper Works product, the only John Cooper Works logo on this car is on the brake calipers. Everywhere else, it is festooned with GP logos. So at the front, they're on the centre caps, all the way down the side of the door, and then we get to the spoiler. Now, I think the spoiler is the big thing about this car, both in terms of size and in image. I mean, it's absolutely enormous, isn't it? Now, it's finished in the body colour with the massive GP logo, but it's on the inside because this spoiler has got an interior. Now, it's painted in chilli red and there are some really nice little design details. So this channel here allows you to actually open the boot. Um, because of course you've got the uh, radio antenna there. But just look at this here, look, the guttering fades into the spoiler. Some really nice attention to detail. Now at the back, I think it's just even more crazy than the front. Now to start off with, we've got darkened Union Jack uh, light lenses, which really add a, a touch of menace to the back of this car. Again, we've got the black mini badges and the GP badge, but we've got this lower valance, which is unlike anything else in the mini range with these two enormous exhaust pipes. But it's these floating spats. I mean, these rear ones are totally different from the front. They are enormous and really do mark out this GP being different from any other John Cooper Works or Mini Cooper S model in the range. Now, on first impressions, the interior may look very similar to a regular Mini, but then you start to notice the little design details that separate the GP from any other Mini in the range, such as the bucket seats here with GP on them. The steering wheel that doesn't have a John Cooper Works logo on it. What it does have is a little piece of plastic at the top, and that piece of plastic is very important because it's 3D printed. Now, Mini's making a big thing about its Mini Yule's customization program with the GP. You can get a wide assortment of printed parts on this car, such as the dashboard panel here with the car's identification number printed on it. Then you notice the aluminium gear shift paddles. Of course, this car is an automatic only, and it's got GP stamped on them. In front of you, you've got a fully digital display, just like you get on the Mini Electric, but of course you don't get EV range and green data such as that. You get your own GP set of displays. The door 
uh, cards here. They don't have a piece of, nice piece of like gloss black trim here. It's just standard plastic. And up here, you've just got a standard light. You don't get the little toggle switches to change the ambient lighting. In fact, you don't get ambient lighting in here whatsoever. Now, if this car does feel a bit too poverty spec for you, Mini will sell you a GP pack for £2,000, which gets seat heating, upgraded nav, and also dual zone climate control. But if you do need to remind yourself this is a proper stripped out car, all you need to do is look in the back. Because just like the GP1 and the GP2, there are no back seats whatsoever. All you've got is a strengthening beam. So be careful of some flying shopping, won't you? Production starts in March. We get to drive the car in April next year. In the meantime, what do you think to it? Let us know as ever in the comments below.